Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really exciting video. I've wanted to get the Too Faced Gingerbread Man Christmas collection for such a long time, well, since I saw the first pictures. I don't have anything from Too Faced, so this is like a first impressions on the palette and lipsticks, as well as just the brand in general. So I went out and got them when, as soon as they launched in the UK. So if you would like to see me review them and create a tutorial and lip swatches, then keep on watching. As you can see, I already have my base makeup done and we are going to go in with the Gingerbread Spice Palette. It is beautiful. I am going to have photos of this up on my Instagram. I will leave that down here. There is a matte kind of creamy shade that I want to try out and it's called powdered sugar and it's this one right here now sadly the palette doesn't smell like gingerbread it smells like something but i can't put my finger on it however the lipsticks which we will get to do smell like their names so I'm... okay so there is fallout but once again fallout is in every palette and it's about how they perform on the eyes I have so many pigmented palettes that just don't work on my eyes so what's the point of them being pigmented? I'm going to take Spice is Nice which is an orange kind of terracotta shade. Let's see how it blends. I'm just going to run that through my crease. Oh, okay. That is quite pigmented. I don't know if you can tell from the lighting. It blends really nicely. I really like that shade. I can tell that's probably going to be my favourite shade. I try to get a little bit more sun as I feel like it was quite dark. Oh, it's still quite dark. Problems of being at uni. You've got to have a different room, different setup, everything different every year. And then I'm going to take my other Morphe blending brush, which is the M518 Figgy Pudding, which is a purple magenta kind of dark colour. And I'm just going to press it onto the outer corner and start to gently blend and work that colour into my crease and going quite deep. <laughs> then I'm going to take my Morphe M433. I don't only have Morphe brushes, just they're my main blending brushes. And I am going to take a mix of Reindeer Paws and Gingerbread. Gingerbread is like a warm brown. Reindeer Paws is a dark, cool toned, almost black brown. <laughs> lower onto your lid and rarely into the crease it's only going in the crease so it will blend with the other transition colors you don't want any harsh lines every other guru always goes in back with a clean blending brush which will be ideal however I just i don't have 50,000 brushes i don't get sent anything so all of my favourite blending brushes are brushes I use every single day. So I'm going to take a more coppery brown shade on my 
um, to Kinnick at 3 eyeshadow palette. I love this flat side. And I'm going to wet it with my Fix Plus, which is But I am going to take the shade Bake It Till You Make It, which is this shade right here. Right about from here to here. So that darker shade that's on the outer corner is still there. You're not covering all of it. I go quite high because I have hooded eyelids and if I put shimmer just like down here it will transfer up and the best thing about this brush I mean all of it is the best thing however this side which is a bit more dense I use to just tap on the edge of the shimmer and where the dark outer corner meet which makes it easier for you to then go back in with your brush and take reindeer paws again which is a dark shade we used last and just tap and blend the shimmer and the matte shades together so I have slightly moved the camera because I think the lighting is a little bit better here my Zoeva 225 Luxe Eye Blender it is the perfect shape for under eye or like just blending everywhere. I love this brush. And I'm going to take a mix of <laughs> Looky at my cookie and spice is nice. And keep building until you have a nice pale to medium orange. And then I am going to take this pencil brush which is from number 7 quite old and I'm going to take once again a mixture of gingerbread which is the warm brown and reindeer board which is the darkest just run that close to my actual lashes and that's the main part of the eye done I am now going to take my shader brush I think it's called the shader brush from Real Techniques it's just a flat brush and I am going to take Spiked Eggnog, which is this light gold shade right here. And because I like this brush for my brow bone because it's quite feathered, so it doesn't create a streak of highlight, but it kind of just like, like I said, it feathers it on. And then, lastly, I'm going to take this flat brush and frostbite me which is a very glittery white shade i don't know how this is going to work because it looks quite glittery so it might not stick i want to use this as my inner corner highlight okay just as i thought it's quite light because it's quite glittery but it still gets the job done so that might be my least favorite shadow so far and I like to have quite a bright inner corner, so I bring it up a little bit and just feather it into the blended eyeshadow and whatever colour I have on my lid. And that is the eye complete. I am just going to go off camera, do my other eye, try and sort out this concealer. That is not pretty. And I will also do my mascara. So now that I've done the mascara, I was going to do black eyeliner in the waterline. Oh, just ugh, fix this. Anyone else's hair gets super greasy. I washed it yesterday. Anyway, now to the lipsticks, which is what I'm really excited about. And I do have to admit, I cheated a little bit. So, I'm gonna take off my lip gloss because they arrived. The package arrived after the my shadow but before my lipstick I did wear one of them now the packaging is incredible um, and also it's a really good price unlike my Anastasia mini nude lipstick set which was 20 I think it was 20 pounds from Beauty Bay for four tiny little stick lipsticks this has four, this was 22 as well, but it has three millilitres each, 
and you have pumpkin spice, sugar cookie, cinnamon bear and hot buttered rum. Um, like I was saying, they may be mini sized but they're three milliliters, which is quite a good amount. I mean, that's why I got the mini ones because I have so many lipsticks, I don't go through most of them, if any. However, like I mentioned in the beginning, they smell like their names. So this sugar cookie, smells like a really, really sugary cookie. So yeah, I know you guys can't smell them <laughs> over the camera, but I'm going to be swatching them from lightest to darkest. And the lightest is sugar cookie. So this is it on my hand. As you can see on my complexion, it's quite a light nude. So yeah, that's sugar cookie. The next color, which is a dark nude, right off my street, is a hot, it's not a, it's called hot buttered rum. Once again, smells like it. And this is it compared sugar cookie. Why do my second swatches always go up? I don't know. We're going to have to deal with it. You see it's more dark and warm and just like terracotta. Now this colour is a perfect autumn like medium brown. I love this colour so much. So yeah, that's hot buttered rum. Anyone know what that is? Because I don't. <laughs> so if anyone loves hot buttered rum, this colour, the smell, everything will be amazing for you. And the next colour, pumpkin spice, is I think just... I don't actually know the difference between that one and hot butter rum, let's see. I think this one is just a bit more warm. Terracotta. Yeah, there is a definite difference, but it's kind of in the same family. This is a more orange terracotta, hence the pumpkin name. I love this shit, although it does smell like pumpkin cinnamony. It's a little bit strong for me, but how beautiful this colour is. I would definitely be wearing this very often. And the last colour, which is the one I wore today, is a cinnamon bear. And it's a beautiful dark red. Reminds me a lot of Jeffree Star Wifey. Although I don't have that, a friend of mine does. See, it's a gorgeous, rich, dark red. Perfect for Christmas and just the autumn season is just amazing. Although I would wear this anytime. And also, I didn't show you the caps also have this one has a bear on it because it's called cinnamon bear yeah and the other ones have um different caps as well so overall my first impressions of the gingerbread palette gingerbread spice palette amazing i love it so much the only shade that i'm not too sold on is frostbite me which is quite glittery and it's beautiful swatched but like I said some shadows swatch beautifully and then don't perform that great on your eye I didn't mention that this palette is £39 in the UK just like any other Too Faced palette do I think it's worth it? I do it is bit more expensive I do know that 
a lot of people don't want to spend this much on an eyeshadow palette which is understandable this is a treat for myself as well but if you don't have anything similar or mean screw it if you know you're going to use it and love it which I do think you will because the mattes went on really well the shimmer was really easy to use so I think they've done a really good job with this palette so I would recommend it and the lipstick set if you couldn't tell is something I think every makeup lover needs the formula is amazing the price is really good actually one it's Too Faced which is not a cheap brand I think they're all quite wearable for everyone um, even if you're more into your nudes or if you like going darker there's dark nudes and then there's this red which I love so much so I would recommend um, picking up this as well however knowing Makeup Revolution they will come out with a dupe for the Gingerbread Spice palette so if you can't bring yourself to spend £40, £39 on an eyeshadow palette that's completely understandable it's quite a lot of money it's half a day's work or more for a lot of people if you can't pick up that one I would definitely recommend picking up the lipsticks and if you can treat yourself and get both like I did thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in my next video Mwah.